unbelievable. Suspected Fulani headsmen have attacked a farm, a farmer and his son with machets in the Otweke hometown of the former President Goodluck Jonathan, leaving both of them in critical condition. The two victims are currently being treated in a government hospital. Sahara reporters learned that the headsmen attacked the family on Friday, after which they were rushed to the Federal Medical Center in Yenogua, the state capital. The Ijo Youth Council, which got wind of the headsmen attacks, reportedly rushed the duo for medical treatment. The Ijo Youth Council Central Zone Chairman, Cleaver Inodu, said the young boy and his father from the Otoeke community were attacked and brutally butchered by headsmen along the new Otoeke road. He source told Sahara reporters that the headsmen had been causing trouble in several Ijo communities and the Ijo Youth Council was planning a meeting between its executives and the Miyeti Alakato Breeders Association of Nigeria to seek a solution. The nonchalant attitude of the FMC in attending to the patients we took there is another side of the discussion. The Ijo Youth Council made a lot of financial and physical interventions to ensure that the boy and his father are both responding to treatment, he said. There have been complaints over the last one month about the activities of the headsmen in the communities. We have been monitoring the activities. There will be a meeting of stakeholders of the Ijo Youth Council and the Miyeti Allah in Bayelsa State next week. We have tried to calm down the youth to prevent a reprisal and to tell them that we are on top of the situation, an Ijo Youth Council official added. Only last week, Suspected Fulani headsmen also abducted and killed a resident of Ibori in the Yewa community of Ogun State. Ajoke Ishola, dumping her corpse behind former President Olushagun of Asanjo's farm in the area around Okiori community. It was gathered that Ishola was abducted last Monday around 11 a.m. and was later found dead by her neighbors. This happened a week after cows of Fulani's, Fulani headers strayed into the compound of the noble laureate, Professor Wale Shoinka's residence in Kemta Estate, Abeokuta, an incident which the police denied, describing as one or two cows. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular issue? As it were, the Fulani headsman issue is continuing to be a threat to the people. There are continuous threats from the Fulani headsman, and yet the government of the day does not seem to be keen about taking necessary steps or actions to address this issue. For how long are we going to continue like this? How long are people going to continue to complain about the ills of the government, the ills of this Fulani Elspin and the government in it? The government has gone silent on the issue of the killer headsmen. Don't forget that there have been insinuations in different camps that the government might just be in support of the activities of the Fulani headsmen, which is tilted towards carrying out a planned agenda by the Fulanese. It is sad and unfortunate that as it is, people are getting killed by the day, but nothing seems to be done about it. The government of the day does not seem to have a clue as to how to end the menace, defeat this particular insurgents, and flush them out of the country. The question now is, where do citizens run to? Where do they have to go to? With the way things are, what is there? What is the likelihood that there will be a country called Nigeria in the next few years? If Fulani headsmen are 
taking advantage of uh, the host communities and inflicting pains and injury on them. It shows that something is wrong fundamentally. And by the time the residents began to threaten attacks or try to retaliate, the government comes out to speak condemning the attacks of uh, host communities on the Fulanese. But when the Fulanese attack and alarms are raised, the government would pay deaf ears to the claims. It is really, really sad and unfortunate. The question is, for how long are people going to continue like this? For how long will the Fulani headsmen continue to kill, maim, destroy people's farm produce and also kill people as it were? Something urgent needs to be done to manage the situation or else there's going to be serious chaos that might just lead to the disintegration of the nation at the end of the day. I stand to be corrected. The activities of the Fulani headsmen is becoming unbearable and it's getting to the peak of it all. And by the time the residents take the laws into their hands to address this issue, it is going to be chaos. What happened in uh, Ibadan, the Sastra Market, and uh, the Ibarakwa of Oyo State might just be a child's play at the end of the day. The government must wake up to its responsibility. The security agencies must as well wake up to their responsibilities to address this issue, to ensure that the complaints of residents are well attended to. Fulani headsmen responsible are arrested and are prosecuted, or else there's going to be serious chaos. They cannot continue to come into people's land and be taking advantage of them killing them, maiming them, and feel that nothing can be done about it. They cannot go scot-free. It cannot be allowed. It cannot be allowed. And that is the reason why you see that we are having the issues in the Southeast where Nambi Kano decided to form the Eastern Security Network because the governors of the Southeast refused to act when they ought to act. If they had acted, Nambi Kano would have been saved the stress, the trouble, the, 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 the uh, you know, the cost of putting up uh, together the Eastern Security Network. So it is really, really becoming a cause of worry, a cause of concern that the Fulani headsmen are roaming free, rampaging, carrying out the activities without any check. But the people and the indigenous people of communities are not allowed or are not given the right protection that they need. Well, it is what it is. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story as it is. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.